Have you ever wondered how much pasta you could eat? Well, your answer is actually probably no, because you're probably a normal person. But anyway, 14 pounds of pasta is what we have right here. I don't think you can really fathom how big this is. It's in a freaking turkey roaster. It's full. There's over a thousand carbohydrates in this. This is crazy. I barely made a dent. Ah, won't happen soon. Probably should cook the pasta longer too. I left it quite firm, which is normally my preference, but.
Ugh. That's a lot of pasta. About seven minutes in. Oh boy. I feel this cool off. It's very hot, well, quite hot, which is really heating me up. I've had quite a few people tell me or be like, yo, Joel, do a pasta challenge, do a pasta challenge. And before I always said no. <clears throat> and now I understand why I always said no. <clears throat> oh, boy. It's just hot. Really, like, I'm, I'm heating up. Just over 11 minutes in, Woo. I mean, I think I can at least successfully say we're at least half done. I think we're a little more, but I'm just blazing up. I shouldn't have wore long sleeves and should I cool down a little bit more. Twenty-four minutes in. I got a few bites left. Woo. You notice I'm chewing a lot more. Just a lot of like, kind of like flavor fatigue redundancy at this point. I still have a bit of room, but up here it's harder.
we're done. Somewhere about 27 and a half minutes. That's a lot of pasta, a lot of flavor fatigue. <clears throat> At first it was really hot. <clears throat> and then by the end, like some of the pasta was just cold and enjoyable, but anyway, <clears throat> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This was a heck of a challenge. So I basically did what Jeff Esper did. Um, he cooked, he had three pounds of uncooked pasta, that's what I did. Four cans of sauce, that's what I did as well. Um, my meatballs, I didn't have as many meatballs as he has. I think he said it was three pounds. I believe it was post, post cooked weight. Or mine were uh, just over a pound or a pound a bit uh, post cooked weight. So he had about two more pounds of me. So yeah, anyway, this passage challenge. Hope you enjoyed it. I finally did it. You guys have been asking for one, so there we go. And uh, maybe I'll enjoy some a piece of dessert now. I just, no more pasta. Ah, tomato sauce, Ugh. Right now it just doesn't seem sound palatable or enjoyable at all. But I hope you enjoyed it. There we go. So 27 and a half minutes, so I know. Oh my gosh, I forgot to eat the carrot. I mean, the pasta was like, was it three ounces short of 40 pounds? I ate half the carrot, that'd be 14 pounds. I'll have another bite of that. Let's get something for dessert. Something tastes better than this. Let me find something. So, we'll grab a few things. So good right now. Got a few of my awesome candies that came from Switzerland. From our awesome friend Steven in Switzerland. He sent me a whole bunch of goodies, which you're gonna see and hear a lot about. An absolutely epic video. At Christmas. It's like a Christmas special. Literally all of Switzerland. I basically eat all of Switzerland. It's impressive. This too is a uh, Kinder Choco Bomb. Here we go. Like chocolate. With this white creamy filling inside, and then hazelnut bits. Here we have Kinder Country, which is very similar to the chocolate bar I just had, except it also has like puffed wheat or buckwheat pieces in it. You gotta see the texture. So it's like yeah, you can see it there. It's like basically the same, but with a piece of puff wheat in it. This is definitely some I've never seen in North America. And it's very different. Very different flavor. It really changes it. It changes the flavor profile. We have this Munz, Munz bar, which is absolutely delicious. Pretty sure it's like white chocolate covering hazelnut stuff, like that. That was really good. It's soft, it's creamy. It's delicious. Those are very sweet. Anything but pasta right now. It sounds appetizing. Here's some called a risoletto. Which 
In a way, it kind of reminds me of a, uh, kind of like a, it kind of reminds me of a Wonder Bar, not in like the taste, but it's chocolate and you have kind of a crunchy bits, crunchy bits. But these are like caramel. Like I said, I'll tell you all about these things in an upcoming video. Love the flavors of all these. Stephen packs some really delicious items. Mm. I fill it up though, I'll tell you that much. I need to go take a nap. It feels really hot. We have um, some toffees, toffees. Which are delicious. I hate some of that chocolate, caramel, and nougat. These are North America. But, so delicious. YouTube community tab for travel updates and I hope to meet you all soon. You know what to do.